Hello there, my name is Momo, and today I started a YouTube channel. First of all, thank you for tuning in. And on today's episode, we will look at installing a Chia Log Analyzer on my existing Chia Coin farm. What you're looking at right now is the end result. And in this video, I'll try to show you how I did it. So you can do it too. Let's dig in. I was looking for a Linux version of the heat map in quotes uh, that's used on other YouTube channels like not another tech channel it's a pretty good one uh, but I've only seen it for Windows though and I'm on Linux but I still wanted to check make sure my farm was running fast enough to actually be able to win some Chia and not be too slow to come up with proofs or however it works so that's why I decided to look into a log analyzer, like the Chia Log Analyzer. I instantly fell in love with the UI because it's just a basic terminal, still like graphic-ish and uh, easy to read and it had all the info on a single screen. So other than just looking good, because it clearly does, in my opinion, it also runs both Linux and Windows, so everyone can uh, play along. But what I didn't like about it was that it was just a binary executable file. And I was not about to run some random file from GitHub on my own system at home. What I could have done, I guess, was wipe my laptop, reinstall it clean, and separate it on a virtual separate network from my other machines, and then run the file. But who has time for that? What I decided to do was use Docker to run the executable and only expose the Chia log folder to the Docker container. That way, any evil code inside would have to first break out of the Docker container before it has access to my main system. There was just one problem. I barely know anything about Docker, so I had to learn. That also means that you shouldn't take anything I'm about to say as gospel. I literally just learned this a few hours ago. Alright, so let's get started in doing this <coughs> um, Docker container. Uh, what I want to start out with is make a Docker file. And uh, like any good TV chef, I did a little work ahead of time. Uh, created this docker file right here and uh, it's pretty it's real simple to be honest uh, it tells docker to make an image and a ubuntu image a version trusty because don't know why that's just what i use <clears throat> uh, then it copies see copy and this is the binary file that we got from github it's found in the same directory as the docker file it copies the binary file to the container, just dot, it's just, uh, top folder of, uh, of the container with the same name. And then it copies a script that I built, very fancy script that I made, I'll show you in a minute. Same, it's located right next to the Docker file and it'll copy it right into the container. Then it's gonna mount a volume called Chia Logs. This is the this is the mounting name that I'm using inside of the Docker container. Then I'm going to run two, uh, two little commands down here. Uh, I'm going to change the binary file that we got from GitHub. I'm going to change that to an executable file. And I'm going to do the same with this uh, script that I made. So these are now both inside the Docker container and they are now both uh, executable files. Let's have a look at the, uh, the script that I made. It's real, real fancy. Um, <clears throat> it starts by copying the now executable binary file and it copies it into the log directory. I found that the dash logs uh, parameter that's built into this uh, is broken. It doesn't work. So, but what you can do is you can copy it into the directory and it'll just assume it's in the log directory. 
So that's what I'm doing here. I'm copying the file into the logs directory. Then I'm changing my current directory into the logs directory also. I don't think this is necessary. For some reason, I'm, I'm making it executable one more time. Don't think that's necessary. And then I run it. Just straight up run it. And that's it. Okay, so these are the files that we have. <clears throat> don't mind that uh, Docker save file. That's nothing. Okay, so well, what we want to do next is uh, build it. So if you want to build something in Docker, apparently you do sudo docker build. Uh, what do you, what do you do? Uh, you give it a tag name, slash t. We want to call it uh, chia uh, mon four because I already tried three times. And I want to give it version, uh, the latest version. So colon latest, and then space, and uh, dot. Because the dot is where it will look for the Docker file, and the Docker file is like right there. That should work, right? Yeah. OK, that was fast. Has a few little steps. It uh, did the from Ubuntu here. It uh, created a Ubuntu Docker container. It copied my binary file. It copied my script. It created the volume. It ran. It uh, ran my commands. It's all good. So perfect. <clears throat> now we want to run it. So what you do is uh, sudo docker run dash t dash d because you want want to run it as uh, like in the background, and then dash v to mount a volume and the volume uh, to mount a folder inside the dark container. And what I want to mount is, uh, let's see, uh, home momo dot chia, oops, dot chia uh, dot, uh, what is it, mainnet and logs. Yeah. And I want to mount that inside the container as uh, Chia logs. Chia logs. I use this name because if I use that name, then my script uh, will work. And I want to give this container a name. So dash dash name. I want to call it uh, Chia Mon number four because this is my fourth attempt at this. Um, and I want to use the image, so image uh, Chia uh, number four version latest. Whew. Uh, no, not quite. Chia Mon number four. At the latest version. Pseudo Docker run dash t dash d dash v. Mainnet logs, Chia. Okay, this is uh, this looks to be okay. Boop. Yes. Sudo Docker container uh, list. And here we have it. This is the one we just created. See, it was created 11 seconds ago, and it's been up for 10 seconds. This is the one I did earlier. And I've been at this for a while. Nah, I'm kidding. It has been a while, but not six hours. So now we want to like enter the container and uh, view the the results from the binary actually running. So we do uh, sudo <coughs> docker execute. For some reason, it don't know what that is. And then we want to give it the uh, chia. Mon 04 ID to say this is the this is the container we want to enter and what we want to run is the shell. Uh, bin slash bash, I think it is. Yep. Nope. Uh GM on zero four. Okay, I thought this would have worked. We'll just get the ID. Yep. 
Ja. Uh, for some... Uh, for some reason, this... Uh, oh, Chiman. <laughs> okay, so I did a, a, an error when I named it, so I made it Chiman. You are able to use the name. Just use the right name. Okay, so now we're in here, and if you if we have a look, then we have uh, normal uh, Linux folders, but also an executable binary file and an executable script file over here, and the glogs folder. So what we want to do is run the the monitoring script that I made, and there we go. Our uh, Gear logs monitor monitor is running, and we can uh, just have this up. It, it can run all the time, uh, and you can just have this up on a screen. So you can just peek at it every once in a while, make sure that everything's running smoothly. I think that's all you need to get started with this. Uh, if I come up with anything else, I will uh, while editing or whatever. I'll, uh, I'll put some extra stuff at the end. But other than that, then uh, thanks for watching and uh, hope to see you another time. Have a good one. Yeah, this is Momo from the future. Uh, I just wanted to point out that you are indeed able to resize the text because uh, I did this entire video in text extra, extra small. So it's, it's a bit difficult to read. I'm not going to deny it. But you are able, of course, to just enlarge the text and run the script. And you will have a much larger and easier to read uh, log uh, analyzer here. So that's, uh, that's an added bonus that you can do that. All right, uh, see you next time.